Hey guys, just wanted to make a super quick video, okay? Quick exhortation. Why you do not have to be perfect to receive the blessings of God. I hear a lot of Christians when they talk about what God is doing in their life or about to do in their life, and they're like, yeah, well now I have to go heal, and I have to do this, and I have to do this, and I have to, in a way, check mark all these boxes off to make sure that I'm perfect and I'm eligible and I am worthy of the blessing that God already promised me. And I just want to caution you all to be very careful in that thinking because you can easily fall into work-based doctrine. God gives grace freely, okay? If he promised you something and he told you that he's going to do something in your life, it's a yes and amen. Okay? It's not a yes and amen and go heal and do this and do this and do this. He didn't require you to do all that. He's going to give it to you freely. The blessings of God make one rich and add no sorrow. So I want to encourage you all that, you know, God tells you these things so that you may have peace. If he says he's going to do something, put it on the shelf. Thank you, God. I appreciate it. I receive it. Shelf it. Okay. <laughs> Just make sure that you shelf it. All right. And I want to give you this analogy so you can kind of understand how this works, because we don't have a transactional relationship with the Lord. It's not that I do this and I show myself and all of these things. And then God blesses me. Let's say if you have a rich father, right? He's rich, richest man in the whole world. He has a million Lambos and one Lambo in particular he wants to give to his son. It's already paid for. It's already in the son's name, but you know, perhaps the son is still five years old. Now, the father is going to give the son the Lambo on his 16th birthday, but he's not necessarily requiring something of him. Say like, you know, if you're not at this level, I'm not going to give this to you. All the son has to do is just walk with the father. And eventually at his 16th birthday, he's going to get his Lambo, you know, in due season. But it's not this thing that now the son is like, okay, I'm going to read every single books about every single book about cars. I'm going to sit here and start a lemonade stand and, um, you know, deliver milk and deliver newspapers and try to pinch pennies together for something that's already mine. Okay. I want to encourage you all that if God says that it's yours, grab it and receive it have a heart that is receptive. The Israelites were not perfect and God still brought them to their promised land. So that's all that I have for you today. Hopefully that this was encouraging and I'll see you guys later.